Chapter 14. A light bulb, a pencil sharpener, a coffee pot, and a sack of potatoes. Galileo was a great scientist, said Mrs. Drizil. He was born in Italy in 1564 and died in 1642. He was the first person to use a telescope to study the stars, and he also helped figure out the laws of gravity. Oh, I know about gravity, said Joe. Mrs. Jules pushed a computer out the window. It fell a lot faster than a pencil. I don't think so, said Mrs. Drizil. Galileo proved that all objects fall at the same speed. He conducted a very famous experiment. He dropped a lot of different things off the Leaning Tower of Pisa. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is in Italy. It was built in... Todd raised his hand. You're getting a little boring, he said. Oh my goodness, am I? asked Mrs. Drizil. Rondi, Leslie, Paul, and Calvin nodded their heads. I'm sorry, said Mrs. Drizil. She thought a moment. I know, she exclaimed. Let's do the experiment here. The children cheered. They loved experiments. Mrs. Drizil rubbed her hands together. Let's see. We'll need a coffee pot, a pencil sharpener, a light bulb, and, she thought a moment, we need something heavy. An elephant's heavy, said Benjamin. There are no elephants in Wayside School, said Mrs. Drizil. Everyone laughed. How about a sack of potatoes, asked Ron. I bet Miss Mush has one. Go see, said Mrs. Drizil. There's a coffee pot down in the office, said Stephen. Go get it, said Mrs. Drizil. If I had a screwdriver, I could get the pencil sharpener off the wall, said Eric Fry. I've got a screwdriver, said Jenny. Can we use a fluorescent light bulb? asked Bibi. She looked up at the ceiling. I guess so, said Mrs. Drizil. How do I get it? asked Bibi. You're the scientist, said Mrs. Drizil. You figure it out. Bibi put her chair on top of her desk and stood on it, but she still couldn't reach the ceiling. Hey, Benjamin, let me have your chair. She put Benjamin's chair on top of hers, but she still wasn't tall enough. Calvin dumped the garbage can onto the floor. Try this, he said. Bibi took the garbage can, turned it upside down, and put it on top of Benjamin's chair. Then she climbed on top, but she still couldn't quite reach. Leslie brought the class dictionary. Jenny and Dana donated their math books. Sherry grabbed Mrs. Drizil's old blue notebook. Put that down, yelled Mrs. Drizil. Right now. Sherry dropped the notebook. Mrs. Drizil's kindly old face had suddenly turned mean. Don't you ever touch that again, Mrs. Drizil ordered. Sherry returned, trembling to her seat. Everyone was staring at Mrs. Drizil. She smiled sweetly. Go back to what you were doing, she said. Jason threw Bibi his lunchbox. She set it on top of the books, then climbed on top. Standing on her tiptoes, she was able to pull the cover off the fluorescent light. She grabbed the light just as the pile collapsed beneath her. She fell to the floor, triumphantly holding the unbroken light bulb high above her head. Ron returned with a sack of potatoes from Miss Mush. Stephen returned with Mr. Kidswater's coffee pot. Eric Fry unscrewed the pencil sharpener from the wall. Mrs. Drizil wrote coffee pot, sack of potatoes, pencil sharpener, and light bulb on the blackboard. We're going to drop all four objects out the window at the same time, she said. How many people think the coffee pot will hit the ground first? Is there coffee in it? asked John. It's about half full, Stephen reported. Eight kids thought the coffee pot would hit the ground first. Sixteen thought the sack of potatoes would hit the ground first. Three thought the light bulb would be first. Only Terence thought the pencil sharpener would hit first. Jason, Jenny, Joe, John, and Joy were the judges. Mrs. Drizil sent them outside. Stephen held the coffee pot at one window. Bibi held the light bulb out another. Eric Fry held the pencil sharpener out another. And Ron held out the sack of potatoes. Everyone else crowded around to watch. With everyone on the same side of the classroom, the school leaned a little bit just like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. 
On your mark, get set, let's go, said Mrs. Drizil. The objects fell through the air and smashed against the pavement. A short while later, the judges returned. Their clothes were splattered with coffee. Jenny had bits of potatoes in her hair. Was the pencil sharpener first? asked Terence. It happened so fast, said Joe. They all hit at about the same time. But the coffee pot made the coolest explosion, said Jason. I think the light bulb hit the ground last, said John. Well, that's possible, said Mrs. Drizil. Gravity causes all objects to fall at the same rate, but air slows them down. That's called air resistance, and that's good. Otherwise, raindrops would kill us. Air resistance slows all things down a little bit, but it has a greater effect on very light objects, such as a piece of paper. And of course, the shape of the paper is important too. A crumpled up piece of paper will fall faster than... You're getting boring again, said Mac. Mrs. Drizil stopped talking. Looks like we need a new pencil sharpener, said Leslie. Paul licked her ear.